this type of uh, eruption wasn't your typical volcanic eruption that everyone is aware of uh, or familiar with. Uh, this was a, uh, an eruption where cracks formed, the vents opened, and it was kind of almost a slow process. It happened quickly, but not quickly to the point where everyone had to immediately run out of the area. So people could slowly grab a few things and get out of the area. They've been through this before. Uh, they've had smaller, um, fissure eruptions in the area, uh, in the town of Pahoa. So they were very familiar with the process. It wasn't ever, it wasn't at this scale um, for these residents that have experienced this. Uh, but there are people who were very familiar with what was gonna happen, how things were gonna go down, and they were helping inform the people who weren't aware. There was a lot of fear as to not knowing when they can go back to their homes, the ones that were still standing at the time. There was such an amazing uh, thing to watch, this community just stay strong in this event. We got very close, uh, probably about 20 feet to the lava from one of the first fissures I experienced. And it was like walking into a room with like 20 pizza ovens with their door open. There was a weird uh, wall, right? Like you could get fairly close, but then all of a sudden you just get hit and you, you, you feel like the boundary of heat that you just can't get that close. And it, it was fairly close. And the other problem was is that it was uh, shooting out pyroclasts. So uh, these uh, basically liquid lava was hitting the air, cooling and forming a solid and hitting the ground and the trees around us. So we're getting that raining on top of us at the same time. So we're, we're you know, keeping an eye on the lava flow that's forming around us and all of you know, these pieces of lava rock coming out of the air and you know out of nowhere all of a sudden I feel something hit my shoulder I turn and look and I see this hole in my vest that oh, I was geez. wearing at the time. and I freaked out because my in my head I feel like lava is acid like I, I never right, experienced right, it before right. I just think it's like going to continue to go through my clothes and hit my skin and go through my skin and I was panicked. I was like, I freaked out, I took my vest off and then I saw it on the ground. It had actually cooled and it was basically just a light hot rock that hit and melted my vest and didn't go through. So I was actually okay. Uh, it was a very scary scenario and it was all new to me so I didn't know what to expect. We, we have this knowledge in advance, uh, thankfully, as to what to expect and uh, this, is, this is the mask that I wore um, and it protects my eyes. Uh, from the gases and also um, these special filters uh, that would cover not only um, uh, physical things in the air but the gases and we were constantly battling wind direction and luckily when I was that close the wind was blowing the bad air away from us so we weren't in that much danger at the time but any moment the wind could shift and catch us in a, a cloud of bad gas. They just recently repaved the whole new road that was consumed by lava, a main artery to get to certain towns so that people can get to their homes. Uh, they just reopened that highway a few weeks ago. So um, that was a huge celebration for that town because it's a sign of uh, rebirth into the area. 